morning gentlemen and ladies we are in a beautiful region here in the Sangne and we are basically on the top of a hill and that fine gentleman here is he's a owner of a what's the tractor sir? A Landini 1880 yes and that tractor needs some uh, let's say orally maintenance I should say and uh, so I'm here doing that and uh, my good friend here is gonna drive it inside his very nice garage you see the house in the back and there's another thing there holy smoke all right so let's do that sir <laughs> all right by the way that uh, big tractor it's 88 ed zero look at the front bucket the snow plow in front of that tractor is huge and there's a big snow blower in the back so this is not the subcompact tractor that we're doing this morning <laughs> And that little dog there, she's a lot of energy. <laughs> so I'm gonna move a little bit of the way so you guys can see it. So that tractor is basically like a, a car. It's got its own power system, uh, power steering hydraulic system, like a car, like a whole car. Uh, the engine, it's a diesel uh, perking engine. He's got his own, uh, it's a 4x4 four four, like you can see. It's an 80 horsepower engine. And I'm gonna put the, the link on the video to see all the spec if you're interested. Here in the province of Quebec, they, they used to have one dealer. It's in the east shore of Montreal, like Saint-Hyacinthe. And that guy gave us a good service. So it's not a small tractor for sure. Now, when Tom was uh, transfer here, uh, the tractor came with the house. He obviously, he paid for it, but uh, it's a very nice uh, area here. It's about uh, 30 minutes towards uh, Lac Saint Jean area from my house. And this morning, it's uh, zero degrees Celsius. And with the sun shining, we have beautiful weather. Yesterday was really bad. All right, so see you later, guys. Cheers. All right, so like uh, Tom is cooling up, that's the reservoir for the uh, power steering system, which is completely separate. Like normal tractor, they use the hydraulic system to, uh, to move the wheel. But on the uh, Landini tractor, the, uh, what's the number is it, sir? The, the, the uh, 80, 88, 80. Yes, so it's a 80 horsepower. So uh, yeah, this is the air filter, it's used oil. This is for the washing, uh, washing glasses. The uh, 12 volt battery is completely down there. This is the radiator to cool off the, uh, the hydraulic system. That's for the engine. Now the engine, you're gonna see better. It's a perking engine, great engine. And uh, there's various type of oil. Like we're gonna flush out the, uh, the front differential. And also inside the wheels, there's another uh, bleed port. I don't remember the word how they call it, but it's a uh, yeah the it's a separate from the the hydraulic system. So on each side and the back is also the same. And thankfully, uh, the uh, Tom have the big. It's a big diesel uh, maintenance manual for the the engine and also for the tractor. So that way we. Were, we were able to order the parts and uh, like I told you the dealer the, uh, the dealership was in Saint Saint it's about uh, what 30 minutes uh, east of Montreal and they used to sell these tractor here in this province and the guy did a really good uh, service his name is Jacques I'm gonna give you the links on my video and uh, then we're gonna flush out the hydraulic system the engine so we're there for a good day for sure so uh, before doing that we, let's get the two there's various type of filter and uh, the engine oil filter, the diesel, uh, the uh, also the hydraulic system. So let's start doing that. All right, folks, just to let you know that tractor use all these 
various type of oil so this one it's for the uh, power steering oil system this one will be for the hydraulic normal hydraulic uh, tractor system uh, this one is for the front uh, differential uh, system and also for the, uh, the, the the one separate from the front differential and obviously this one for the engine and uh, so uh, Tom and I we're gonna start to do that and uh, I just to show you the uh, this is the snowblower it's hydraulic control uh, shoot completely I mean the the angle the uh, the turning in here and it's uh, I mean it's a beast so uh, now we're gonna start to do that and uh, yeah we put the uh, Tom uh, we put the uh, the fell in upward position so we get uh, better access again safety first so uh, all the weight of the bucket it, it's uh, attached and one thing i want to show you is the quick steer no steer quick attach they have on it you can see a hook in the in the top and that little whoops and that little handle can disconnect on each side here the bucket so you can put that giant snow plow in front of there all right so enough talking start to work now for each hub there's only one hole so we have to put the to dry, in order to drain the oil we need to put the drain plug on the lowest position when it's empty then we advance the tractor to put in the up position we fill up and then we, and it's mid level so uh, <laughs> it's it's a european tractor all right cheers so as you can see tom is removing the the oil uh, the reason why we're not doing that inside the garage, there's uh, at least two feet uh, different from the top of his door, garage door and the cabin. So we're doing, a, it's a full field of uh, maintenance. <laughs> All right. And we're using rain gutter to put the oil so it's not, uh, it's not uh, contaminating the tower. <laughs> All right, cheers. So you can look at the speed of the oil dropping <laughs> and look at the car black. That oil long, pass. Long overdue. Long overdue, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Holy, it's like molasses. Go ahead. Let's see if we can get right in there. <laughs> bloop, bloop. <laughs> Awesome. The the reason it was black is not because of the contamination, it's just because the overdue time. And the good news is the oil is not gray color or silver. If it was grayish or silver color, that means there's something wearing off. Like gear, stuff like that. But everything is uh, just a, a nice, steady molasses color. All right, cheers. We're working outside and it's at one degree Celsius. You always put your glove in a warm spot, like on the top of an engine. And for me, it was at the top of an en engine aircraft. So now we're gonna attack the, uh, as it's dripping, we're gonna attack the uh, engine oil. Uh, all right, cheers. All right, so uh, Tom just removed the oil. <laughs> hey boy, it's uh, black. Yeah, it's long overdue once again. Yes. And uh, <laughs> what do you say? Oil is oil, oil, engine oil is all Polish, man. Yeah. <laughs> Man's nail falling. Yeah. It's smelly too. Holy smoke. Yeah, that oil is way overdue. Hi, <laughs> right, we can attack the, uh, the front. Uh, front desk? Yeah. On the manual book for the oil, uh, I mean, you have to go with the logic. You find the engine, then you go on the bottom. I'm going to. And Tom was able to find it. This is, I'm pointing to the oil pan and towards that way where the line is dropping, that's where the, that's all that I'm gonna try to show it to you. Oh boy. Yeah, you can see the little hole in there. Yeah, that's it. And by the way, for oil change for the obs, this is the plug. So we need to uh, rearward that way to have this one in the bottom. The other one on the opposite way, it's almost a, uh, it's uh it's it's empty so uh you can see that it's very smelly uh, oil so so let's uh and to fill up the hubs you gotta do it in reverse yes sure that uh that hole's at the top yes and uh but in the midway in the, we don't fill up all the way so all right so we we're at it cheers um uh, so the oil the engine oil is still dripping same thing with the hub there 
in the meantime we're gonna remove the fuel filter the fuel filter as you can see the tractor it's on the left side just beside the uh, the dipstick so uh, Tom went to get the uh, the wrench the proper wrench to remove it all right no that's an intense way to disconnect a few uh, oil filter but uh, <laughs> we, it's a tough mission <laughs> I tried to find a holy bastard. <laughs> it's hmm. well sticked. Alright. Yeah. Can you bring it in the top part? Like we might have to do the classic. Alright, that one we it was a team effort. So yeah. Tom was holding the uh, the black bracket around and I was pulling. And we use it by the top of the lip, so uh, we're in business now. Oil. Yeah. All right, just hold on. Ah. Okay, so as you can see, the oil is quite uh, contaminated. That's the one I'm pointing right there. <laughs> so uh, that's a uh, holy smoke. It's black. There she comes. Yeah. Holy smoke. Come on. It's a, a long screw one. Yeah, there's a lot of threads. There it goes. Holy smoke. Yeah. They put on their li 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 put it in the in the downside on the old pan or yeah. So oh, I will take care of it. So let's, we're gonna drip it. All right, now, shall we start the diesel engine for one second? See how much sludge is going out of there? Yeah, I wanna fire it up. Just one second. Watch out for the can. And uh, are you, uh, at least just, just to see uh, how much, uh, it's a big cab as you can see. Eh? All right, so just one second, eh? Okay. Go ahead. Watch the uh, filter there. Okay. Yes. That's it. Holy smoke. All right, so you all see that sludge coming out of there. So, uh, okay, for this engine, it's worth it to do that. It's, uh, it's like, uh, it's coming from the oil pump the scavenged oil pump in the bottom of the uh, oil pan and it's just flushing in there and uh, i forget to see, uh, show you but uh, the oil the oil the drain oil pan was uh, almost finished so yeah. let's continue the other stuff all right cheers so uh, as the oil engine oil is dropping so tom is gonna remove the front plug for the front differential so we're gonna be uh, draining also that. All right, I'm just gonna put the camera right there. If we'll be able to see it, perhaps closer. Now, of course, we're gonna wait before, yeah. And A little water should come out, a little bit. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's good. Yeah. No water at all. It's not that dark. No, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. You can remove the, there's a. You know the, okay, nah, I'm gonna wait. We can wait until it dry. On this, we can open one side. There's a plug on each side here, but I think it's too low. Yeah. So we're gonna let, let, it, let it drip. We can connect the oil filter though. Yeah, the oil filter, I'm just gonna put it. It's right in there. I will make a small uh, on the book, all the parts, you know, the uh, the build. Yeah. We can show it to you all the parts related that what we're changing, all right? So here we go.
Actually. Yeah, you better uh, oil it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. There's a. Uh, just hold up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Some people actually even fill it up, eh? Sure. Yeah. But uh. Oh, goes on easier than it came off. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just a nice hand tight snug. By judging of the color of the front differential, that all has been changed. But the hubs, the one with wing uh, like under the wheel, has never been changed. Black like that is probably uh, since the tractor was uh, new. <laughs> right, so Tom is having the air filter and look at the strainer they have for the air filter. It's not the order you want, so the oil is in there. And the strainer to catch most of the particle and then we have to clean the bottom of uh, the oil the oil has not been changed but you know what the oil is clean yeah there's not too much cabbage in there so that we clean that with diesel fuel or whatever gas to make sure all the particle is washed out and then we clean the compartment and it was right from here on the on the top and also we have to unscrew this part because it's a pre-filter element i'll show you that later all right now you know how to bring the testosterone up in the Saturday morning, just a good smell of fuel. <laughs> so this is the boil for the fuel filter. And uh, right now, Tom is removing the fuel filter itself. And of course, it's all, uh, it's pitted and uh, yeah, it really need to get changed. Eh? Yeah, Holy it's smoke. It's ready to go. Yeah. And of course we do it bare hands. Yeah. Urgh. Nothing better for the skin, eh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. What it is interesting is uh, what I'm pointing at, that's the block heater right be uh, behind the fuel filter. So uh Man, we're gonna do a nice inspection on the electric wire so we don't do kaboom. <laughs> All right, cheers. All right. So we pull uh, a little bit on the bottom of the oil can and then we're gonna put all on the top of the strainer so to lubricate so no corrosion will occur. And uh, we're gonna measure it from there. So go ahead, sir. Yeah, exactly, a good large amount. A good liberal amount, but I'm not talking about the <laughs> the politics. I think we're right there, so I'm just Let's gonna double check. Hey, we're running right the money. Right on. Perfect. And uh, so that's very important because uh, the strainer, you don't want it to get it corroded. It's probably still there still. Because there's no car engine at all in there. Yeah. So, you ready to put it on, sir? Yeah, let's rock and roll. Yes, and. There you go. How about this? I'll try to put it in from this angle so you can. Put the camera on. There you go. You almost there? And if I can. Use that clip in here. I have one on my side. There it is. There we go. So this is the uh, so Tom cleaned the top. We put a little bit of grease on the top because it was starting to corrode it. This is the water separator, and the air is coming down through the ball and then it's coming up all the way. Whoops. That's the tube there, you're going to the engine and take my phone. Now it's time to put some oil in that puppy. Changing the fuel filter, as we just discovered, doesn't include not to change also. We have to change also all the uh, O-rings was included with the uh, fuel filter. So there's the small one coming in the middle, then the big one from the top and the bottom. So we're gonna proceed for that. All right, so uh, I just finished to clean the fuel filter bowl. Uh, Tom went to get some uh, Vaseline to uh, you see the uh, all the uh, o-rings I was pointing at we just put a slight coat of uh, Vaseline all the uh, 
the O-rings on aircraft, we always put a little bit of Vaseline for the fuel. Now for the hydraulic, we put hydraulic, but for fuel, a little bit of Vaseline will help. All right, cheers. And this is like a car, this is the brake. Uh, oil, like a normal old car. <laughs> to just inform you, uh, this it's not a vacuum. I uh, will have to find out how it works. But well, it's probably related with the... Uh, because inside there's a brake pedal and everything. <laughs> So that's a different tractor for sure. Right, as you put the uh, fuel filter, there's uh, O-rings, various type of O-rings. So make sure when you remove it to find exactly where they go back. Uh, I'm pretty senile, but uh, Tom is very good for memory. So <laughs> we all put back, especially we have an extra one, but it probably came with for uh, various type of tractors. So. so right now he's putting it back. I'm just gonna show you the uh, so the final project, so the, the filter is right there, well installed. As uh, Tom was working on the engine, he found out the alternator wire. That's the alternator right there, I'm pointing. The wire here is kind of, it is on his uh, last thread. So uh, as it's, it's always important when you do maintenance, do a visual check of all your main component wire, stuff like that. So we're gonna fix that there right now. So the uh, fuel filter is already installed. We put the thumb put the tunnel. Then we're gonna put the engine oil. There you go. So time to put the oil in the engine. The engine takes seven liters. So I'm going to throw the first five liters. And where it is, it is there. Yeah. I need to go one step harder. Right. Hello, mirror. All right. <laughs> oh shit! They put. The vent of the engine, the engine vent, they put the, uh, the tube for the water <laughs> right there. That's, in the, <laughs> that's the vent. I okay. don't remember the vacuum, we call that coming from the. And they put the. That was locally modified. <laughs> <laughs> Seven liter. So this one is five liter. A very nice looking clean oil. Anyway, and then we're gonna start it. And look at the dipstick. Damn good, I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> There's the dipstick right there. Yeah. Inside the oil filter. Hey! I need the rag. <laughs> Here. Yeah. can see the mark there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even... To oh, le not a little bit. Yet. So we need... Uh, so let's start it. I'm gonna remove the funnel. Oh, damn it! I'm not flexible like I used to be. All right, so go ahead, sir. Yes, um... There you go, yes. It shut, it shut down? Yeah, no fuel. Okay, so just hold on. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right, uh, one thing uh, that we forget to mention to you is uh, as you remove the fuel filter, there's a procedure which is very well explained uh, into the manual. And uh, 
that mechanical fuel pump is get a, is get a plunger then you manually uh, purging the air so the procedure is you purge the the top of the fuel filter the air then you go on this side there's two screws it's very tough to put but there's two screws you need to uh, open to f uh, to remove the air from the fuel filter all the way to the fuel pump uh, not the fuel pump but the air injector pump and then you finish by the uh, upper portion of the the uh, the injector and there's on the last one is one of the return and once that is accomplished well it's done but since <laughs> we had to learn <laughs> how it is done by the european tractor oh, it's yeah. uh it's a different ball game from the american one the american one you bleed you open the four injector then you start then all the air is getting out but this one is different all right so uh let's continue the purging all flush of that tractor all right Cheers. i'm going to attend to show you the sequence of uh of purging the air off the uh, fuel system. All right, so what am I pointing right there? This is the mechanical fuel point. You see that little lever I'm pushing? All right, so when everything is connected, the first thing you need to do, this is the top of the oil filter in there. I don't know if you can see it. You, you unscrew that valve, then you activate that, uh, that little, lever a couple of time until the air is completely bleed out when that is accomplished then you go on the other side now i'm gonna go high high ground i'm gonna try to show it to you oh boy Alright, that's gonna be tough going, but this is the number three, and red under it it's number four. Red in there. So you unscrew that one. That is it that one first. And then two of the injector there. You start the tractor until the hair ble bleeds out. When it's bleeding out, then you close back the 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 one I'm pointing here, then you close back those two, then you open the bottom one here, the bottom, it's tough to point, but Jesus, that one right there, all right, then you start the tractor, and because that's the return line, that last screw I'm pointing at, and then you close it, then you start it, and the tractor start in about five seconds of cranking however in the book i guess it was lost in the traduction we were misleading between the the top screw and the bottom screw from the uh, the fuel pump the no it's not a fuel pump it's the uh, injector pump so uh yeah it took us about uh, we lost about 20 minutes on that but now everything is working fine all right so the oil has been flushed the fuel filter has been changed uh, now we're gonna work finish the uh, the front axle I mean the hubs and also the uh, we're gonna fill up the front differential all right so uh, see you later uh, Tom is a great cook he made a homemade chicken soup with vegetable and his own bread I'm very lucky but uh, he's coming up right now because and I'm gonna heat uh, that's inside of his garage, like, holy smoke, it's all wood finish inside. And uh, he's a big fan of motorcycle and you get the wood stove. So uh, we're going to have some uh, lunch. All right. Cheers. Here you go. Did you touch that boat? Uh, because he was loose? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> because I was coming in like mama. <gasps> all right. So time for the funnel, the uh, the rain gutter. Yes, the hole is right there, and we use a rain gutter towards the hole pan and. Uh,
And uh, this is La Reine Gauteur. And I put it Locally like this. manufactured part. Yes! Locally by a hand <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to move my big face. And we move that little nut. And look at that big molasses coming out of there very soon. Hey, mama. There we go. Oh, that one is a different color. Yeah, it is. That's brownish. So that means a little water contamination, I think. Oh, yeah, that's very brown. At least it's not grey and smelly too. See you later, folks. Once I finish to unbent, <laughs> I'm old <laughs> for that thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, just a bit review of the the mechanism. So this is the hook here on each side of the bucket, and the locking mechanism. It's here. And they're holded by the, uh, the there's an handle right in here, and that handle when it's turned, it's it's putting the the pin inside. So it's quite a hefty uh, shovel. All right, so we just fill up the uh, the the uh, the the mid differential. The filling port is on the left side, and that's the bolt I'm pointing at right there. So when it's filled, then we cap it. Now. Uh, we're gonna start the uh, Tom is gonna ta start this tractor and we're gonna turn the wheel and uh, we're gonna fill up. All right, right now everything is replenished in front, the oil change. And uh, we're looking for uh, Tom I had a small power steering lead, uh, he's got his own power steering pump. We try to identify where the lead comes from, we swipe off everything. And we cannot find it, so we're gonna do a, a run test to see maybe after the run if he's able to lower, if we're able to locate exactly where the lead come from. It was a, uh, it didn't need that much, but still we have to find it. The. Uh, the thing about that tractor, this not, it does not have hydraulic filter. There's two hydraulic strainer that we're gonna clean. However, uh, we uh, it, it didn't butt enough hydraulic oil, so we we'll do that later on. But at least today we take care of the air filter, the front differential, the hub, the two hubs on each wheel. We did the engine oil. We purged the diesel fuel filter. We changed the fuel filter. And uh, right now we'll try to locate the uh, the leak. The only thing left is the uh, hydraulic system, flush hydraulic system, clean the two strainer and do the, uh, the the two rear hub oil to change to. Other than that, hey, we have the time of our life. So Tom is trying to figure out where we find that leak. All right, that tractor is uh, quite a, a good one. It's very well equipped. It can speed up too, it's very fast tractor. By the way, the brakes on that, it's also a power brake tractor the brake our wet one but uh, yeah <laughs> that's only the thing we have to change also all right. all right so let's do the test now can you imagine my little red tractor with that horn on it <laughs> hair horn like <laughs> Oh, Pre, uh, <laughs> prise <deux. laughs> All right, so uh, like I was saying, the only thing left is the hydraulic system, the brake system, and the rear uh, hub system to change the oil. And uh, Tom and I, we perform the... Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, it looks like a boat. <laughs> 
Yeah, we uh, we went. Yeah, Tom went down. This tractor came back. Make uh, we. I need the only thing uh, we found loose is was that little. I did a quarter qu turn, one quarter turn, on the cylinder of the hydraulic system for moving the wheel left and right. Other than that, everything is bone dry under there. So let's make a part two in the incoming weeks. So this is part one. And uh, I shall return to finish with the uh, Landini tractor. <laughs> and thank you, Tom. For, I, I should leave my... <laughs> and I had a great fun. And uh, I mean, it's not a tractor that you often work on it because it's, it's, it's different. It's like the power steering system, brake, power brake system. It's completely detached from the tractor. Uh, the diesel, it's a great diesel engine, Perkins. Uh, what else? Oh, the hubs. Uh, there's some tractor in North America is built like that. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's uh, very powerful and it's very strong built. So, uh, please have a good one. Take care of yourself. Cheers. <laughs> so, put higher RPM. I cannot really know that that tractor is supposed to be shooting like 40 feet away. Holy smoke! Alright, that's good. Alright, I, uh, I didn't show you inside the tractor, but look at all the levers it's got, like the PTO. Then on the other side, there's three levers. This is the uh, power shift lever, there's two. Then on the side here, Tom, that thing is more complicated than flying an aircraft. Yeah, I know. I thought it was War of the World. <laughs> and there's the uh, adjustment, how fast you want to drop it. This is two things here. I mean, the parking brake. <laughs> and look at the dash. Yeah, all in full there. <laughs> Looks like a Star Trek. Thing. Yes, it's a Star Trek thing. <laughs> All right, guys, cheers! <laughs> All right, bye-bye.